Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip about pickling objects. Uh, saving your uh, data and model is very handy to continue your work on uh, in-memory object over a long time or multiple processes. Um, so uh, let's start by uh, importing a uh, few libraries. I'm importing pandas as pd. I'm importing um, knn classifier and I'm importing joblib from um, sklearn.externals. So I'll execute that. Um, I'm loading uh, a data set and uh, uh, putting it in, um, in a data frame, in a pandas data frame. I named the columns and I have um, 4,000, almost 4,000, uh, 4,177 rows and nine columns. So I will uh, train a quick um, a quick model in here, a trained model. Uh, in here, I um, specified all columns except um, sex as uh, features. I defined a uh, dictionary um, to convert uh, the strings of male, female, and infants to numbers. Then I mapped that with uh, column six in um, a new list uh, for results and executed that. Uh, here I'm training a quick model, uh, KNN classifier. It takes features and results and trains a model and returns my trained model. I might need to work on that for, uh, for some other time. It, uh, some models take very long time to train, so you don't want to redo that every time you want to use your model. So the way to save that is in pickle format. And um, there is an um, easy way to do it with the dump function from uh, joblib. So I'm dumping uh, CSV data as data.pkl, um, uh, which is uh, short for uh, pickle. And I'm uh, dumping also my trained model as uh, model.pkl. I'll execute that. Now I'm just going to list what I have in my directory. And I can see my um, um, data pickle file in here. Uh, it spread the file over multiple files, and it spread also my model over multiple files. So if I need to transfer this model um, to someone else, I need it. Uh, I need to send it to someone else. I'll have to send him all the files um, that represent this object. And if I need to send someone my trained model, I'll have to send him all these files. Um, finally, to load an object that you received um, on a pickle file, you use load, so joblib.load, and um, just uh, mention the file name. And here I'm loading back my data and model, so I can take a look at my loaded uh, data. I can confirm that it has the same number of rows and columns, and I can retrieve back my trained model. Uh, this uh, tutorial is available on uh, GitHub open source and is viewable on MB Viewer. The link to this is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope if you like this you will subscribe to this channel and you will watch some other quick tips about folder management or load balancing. Thank you.